Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to show you very important topic, mainly how we can easily make the urban density map using Google Earth Engine platform. So in this time we are using here the different types of spectral indices and then try to find out the build up region and further we are also calculate the density of R1. So let's go. I will show you all of those things step by step. I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do making urban density map using spectral indices. So let's go. Just to simply open my code editor. Okay, so here I already imported the image collection. In this time, I use here the Landsat 9 satellite imagery. And uh, this is my study area for the Dhaka city. And uh, in this time, here I already add the cloud max function, mainly uh, it will be remove all of those cloud from my satellite images. So now, first of all, I need to uh, create the image composite. So for that, I just take a variable. I put the name suppose image and call my Landsat 9 image collection. It is stored in the L9. And first of all, I simply use a function filter bounds. So that's why it intersecting with my study area. My study area simply variable stored the variable name is the ROI. I put the name is the ROI. But then I need to apply the time period. So for that, I simply put at the filter date function. So basically, it filtering my specific time period. So for that, I just simply uh, use here the time period, suppose year of uh, 2023. 1st January from year of 2023, December 31. Okay, I choose this time period. And further, I just try to apply this cloud max function. Okay, so basically, this is the cloud max function to removing the cloud, Cirrus cloud, cloud shadow. So just I simply copy this function variable name. And further, I apply here the map function and then simply paste this variable name so now this function is successfully connect with your image collection further i just create the median composite all of image collection and then it clip with my study area which is roi so now let's go we visualize our satellite imagery so just add a layer and call this object name image click the run so now you can see it added a layer so basically, it's added this uh, image of Landsat 9, year of 2023, median composite. So I try to add here the band combination. So click on here. So from here, we can easily use the different types of band combination. I want to set here, suppose red, then put here that green, and also put here that blue. For any kinds of band combination, you can easily use. I stressing it 98% for better looking and then apply it. So now we can get the true color composite, mainly RGB, red, green, and blue band combination. We can get this type of image. I just simply import this visualization and further copy this variable name and then use it after the object name. So basically, in this time, my object name is that image. So just I paste here and I also put the layer name. It's a uh, suppose imagery, or you can put any name. So now I got my image look like that. So further, I just try to add here the different types of spectral indices. It can be normalized difference, build up index, or it can be uh, N B R two index. So I just I use this type of index, and then I try to find out the build up area from this satellite images. And further, we also make the density map of urban. So let's go one by one. Try to add in here. So first of all, I just create a spectral indices. I want to create suppose NDBI. Mainly, it's called the normalized difference build up index. Okay. So I calculated the NDBI. For NDBI, I simply take a variable and put the variable name suppose NDBI. And I want to calculate the NDVI from this image. So I simply call the image and paste here. 
in this time there are the lot of way for calculating the different types of spectral indices in google earth engine platform i just use the easy way it's called the normalized difference so basically this normalized difference can be calculated any two bands normalized difference so in this time for the ndvi these two bands is that mainly short wave infrared one band and short uh, and near infrared band okay so in this time short wave infrared uh, one band for landsat we can say that is it can be sr uh, b6 and near infrared band is the sr b5 okay and mainly when i use this function normalize difference function it automatically calculated the srb6 minus srb5 divided by srb6 plus srb5 mainly short wave infrared one minus near infrared divided by short wave infrared one plus near infrared and calculate and make the map of ndbi so now let's see we try to add the ndbi map visualization just i add the ndbi map and call this ndbi click on so now you can see it also added a new layer basically we can get the grayscale ndbi map so further we can easily add the color okay we have to use at the sb6 and also put at the b5 okay so now try again okay we can get the grayscale ndbi map so for that i want to add the visualization so for adding the visualization i simply click on this layer and i just try to stressing it uh, such as uh, 98 percent stressing and i also add the color plated suppose i just add the color plated for do hello of ndbi i should want to as a blue color Better then I want to show this type of suppose uh, white color and further where the high view I want to show this type of uh, red color okay so then further just try to apply so now we can get this type of ndbi map mainly normalized difference build up index so basically this index where you at the identify for build up area okay so just try to import these things in here a new visualization will be imported in your code editor you copy this and then paste after the object name so in this time my object is the ndvi i just simply paste in here and further i just give a name ndbi okay so further we also try to extract the another normalize nbr2 so in this time i try to calculate this another index the spectral index so it's called the nbr2 so for doing this thing we are just applying this formula just take a variable suppose i put the variable name is the nbr2 and call this image and then use the same function normalize difference between two bands for identify for nbr it's mainly short wave infrared one and short wave infrared two so for that uh, i just apply here these two things short wave infrared one and short wave infrared 2 so basically it's called the b6 and b7 so just i put at the b6 which is short wave infrared 1 and also put at the b7 which is short wave infrared 2 so basically these two difference normalized difference calculated the nbr2 and now i want to visualize this map so just use here map dot add layer and call the n r2 and take it on so in this time it added the another layer to identify for nbr2 index spectral index and then we can easily find out the build up region so in this time i just apply the same process for that i simply click on here again and uh, just customize 28 person for better uh, visualization and further i had the plated option so i want to show the suppose uh, blue color and further get at the name to show suppose this type of uh, white color and further i want to add the red color for the high positive glow and further the apply so now we are also get the nbr2 index 
also in here you can get okay so in this time i just try to import this visualization also and then copy this variable name and paste after the object name so here you can see this object i put this name in here and further just give a variable name uh, it's called the n b r 2 so now we are also get the two spectral indices one is the normalized difference build up index ndbi and nbr2 so now from this two spectral indices we try we try to apply here the spectra uh, mainly thresholding value okay and then further we try to identify for the build up region okay so in this time here you can see ndbi mainly negative pixel value uh, uh, it's not a build up okay suppose I just simply click on uh, inspector tab and click on the suppose it's a water but i simply click on here here you can see the result of ndbi we can find out the negative pixel okay so in this time we find out the negative so negative pixel value for ndbi it cannot be built up okay so all of positive value okay all of positive value we consider as a build up region also you can see for the nbr2 nbr2 it also it can be less than suppose i simply click on any kinds of build up area so here you can see what is the value for the nbr you can get the 0 0.09 so it's the greater than 0 0.2 so for that in this time for generating the build up area we are just applying a thresholding value so just take a variable i put the variable name suppose build up build up and further from here just i call the nd ndbi i consider all of those pixel greater than equal negative 0 0.1 and also for nbr2 i consider the nbr2 mainly less than equal less than equal 0 0.2 okay just i consider this a thresholding value and i want to extract the build up so now further i just try to add these things suppose map dot add layer and further i just try to show these things so i simply call the build up and i also want to use here the self max function so that's why it will be self maxing and then i want to get only for the build up region so just i simply copy the variable name and paste here and show the color plated so use at the Related. I want to show as the red color for the build up feature and also put the layer name. I put the layer name, it's a uh, build up. Build up. So now click the run. In this time, it create the another layer and it show only for the build up region. So we check the layer first. So here you can see we can get this type of map. Okay, so in this time we struck only for the build up layer okay so this type of red color identify about the build up region in here okay so now i want to use this build up and then try to find out the density so after extracting the build up area using the thresholding window we are just uh, find out the what is the urban density so further in this time we are using at the convolution mainly focal mean in this time we are using at the three meter neighbor as the input so put at the three and then further we are just reprojected and and uh, at the uh, 30 meter pixel again and further we are simply show the urban density and we have put at the list of color black purple blue cyan green and yellow and red then we are easily get this type of urban density map so further you can easily export this type of map in your google drive and further you can easily work with dark map or use a software so basically this is the process to making the urban density map using the spectral indices so you also try and further request any problem then let me know i'll try to guide you and in this in the meantime if you want to join my online training program on live trading session on google earth engine you can easily join in my live trading session on google earth engine and learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level so here you can see this is the upcoming online training program on google earth engine so basically this class will be start from that uh, 15 march and it will last 13 march okay and uh, first 10 days will get the 50 percent discount so now already join total um seven people now three seats are available for getting this uh, 50 percent discount 
class will be taken only for the friday and saturday in a week and this is the class time okay so basically in this online training program you are learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on google earth engine and if you have no knowledge about the coding mainly python or programming or javascript programming don't worry about that you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and you can get all of those course content i already added all of those things in the video description you also try to check and if you want to join this online training program simply contact in this whatsapp number or, or email then you can easily join okay so you can also get the, some benefit when you want to join this online training program you can get the course certificate as well as you can also get all of those uh material mainly slide pdf uh, you can get all of those practice code as well as you also get the recorded video class suppose if you miss any live training session then you can easily cover using the recorded video class as well as you also get the live testing supports it's very important as a beginner when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problem so that's why you're also providing the lifetime lifetime testing support uh for your any problem so if you want to join this online training program simply contact in this whatsapp number also contact with this email for book your set okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe